That's a duck hunt. Um, I mean, Zane, Zane is, is honestly like one of the one of the sauciest duck hunts to do it. The setups are just ridiculous. The neutral is insane. You know, Zane is sick. I love Zane. Shout out to Zane. Uh, and thank you so much to Frozen for the sub. I hope you're having a lovely day, friend. And just like that, game one starting on PS2, Numbies all the way in his favorite place. Uh, immediately running to the corner. No shame behind it. Love it. the corner. There are many ways to play the game, and John chooses the one with the only place of consistent invincibility. So, don't hate the player, hate the game, I guess. Oh wow, and Zane with these setups, almost connecting, um, you know, the play pigeon into the foil there, but unfortunately, thinking that we threw was a little bit too light, you know, uh, going a little bit higher than they should have. Uh, but right now, wow, that can is just challenging numbers in exactly the space that he wants to play. Zayn is not having any of it at all. Carried that softly ball beautifully, headed, excuse me. Uh, and that should be it. Wow. The confluence on deck. Clay Pigeon is ridiculous. That move is actually nutty. It, 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 you know, you can do Clay Pigeon into itself. Uh, it's just, you can throw it out and then shoot it later. Um, you can do it into any of Duck Hunt's kill moves. It's, it's nice. It's, it's honestly an awesome move. Arguably the best thing about Duck Hunt and the thing that Zane, uh, what they do best with the character is understand that everything that Duck Hunt has is entirely manually operated. They're not using like a Samus charge shot or uh, a, a, a Shadow Ball, wow. Mega Flare. It's all, all of those are just projectiles. They understand that Duck Hunt's utilization of his tools requires him to be in control of all of it, which makes it for fantastic set play or just like, running over a player if they're not ready for it. Absolutely, right now, that can so clutch. Like I'm telling you, this matchup it is so important. It can challenge We Fit off stage like genuinely no other projectile. Just being at a just being able to put it at ledge exactly where Numbers wants to play. Zane had the right idea, but was not accounting for how quickly Reefit could fall there. Oh, I feel so bad. They were ready for it. They were ready for the jump in. Um, and they didn't get it. They didn't get it. Gotcha. Oh, that should... No. Mm. Okay, great mix-up on the DI there from Numbers. He held out for the first hit and away for the multi-shot. It's part... Stuff like that is going to make kill confirms that much harder to land, and with at 146, Duck Hunt already needs to take some time to set up his stuff to to do it, uh, to to get those kills. Numbers gives him plenty of time, of course, to, as he retreats back to ledge. Yeah, but now, like, any good hit from Duck Hunt will be able to take it right now. This is definitely Numbers ledge trap to take. Was not able to find it at all. Numbers overcommits a little bit too far off stage. Uh, now finds himself in disadvantage. Like again, that can is just challenging him exactly what he wants to be playing. Oh man, poor Billy. <laughs> Getting beat up by numbers. <laughs> uh, the can uh, 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 knocked away, but not able to get the two frame with that back air. Oh, dash attacks right into it, is able to hit it away just in time. Oh, and now Zane is going through one of the ledge traps. Wow, that gunman was not enough to take it. That nearly though, that should be it. That should be it. Oh my god, it's gonna be it for Zane? No, no it's, it's not. not. Oh. Just barely reaching it with the bag in hands. I have to do that through actual air dodge, but a little bit too far. Uh, in terms of Kusa, not able to get anything off of that clay pigeon anymore. At this point, Zane needs a raw hit, a nail, a back hit, a forward hit, maybe a kill throw, but just ends up falling right into the sun salutation. Oh my god, that is weak for that 217%. <laughs> I mean, just gets shot in the face. Every attribute of every attribute of Weefa is increased, including their fall speed and gravity, so mm -hmm. it can make them survive just that little bit longer. As you know, Can didn't kill at 199, but now with even stocks across the board, numbers is looking like he's in control of the pace of this match, whether Zane wants it to be or not. Right now, it definitely seems like Numbers is like uh, making the first foot forward. Or they're just getting like a lot of the right leads. They're baiting a lot of the right things from Zane as well right now. But gets the clay pigeon into the downer. He doesn't want to go for the double downer. You usually see Zane going through that uh, on a bunch of like super heavies, especially Bowser. But uh, on Wii Fit, you really don't want to go that deep against her because Lord knows she could just spike you uh, with any of her three spikes for some reason. Yeah, wrong, one wrong spacing and one wrong option, and Weepa is in her element with just the infinite options that she has off stage. But in a position like this, the advantage still is in Weepa's favor. Her scramble options are 
Okay, almost second to none with a, for, with a solid frame data and a really powerful raw kill option. So like that F tilt, will we see it here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is. So that interaction was so unfortunate for me because Zane was preparing themselves. They were covering themselves. They wanted to put the can up there at the ledge, uh, but then just slightly misplaced it. Just take a look at this. That can would have probably avoided that entire thing, uh, but it was just pixels away from being able to get back on that F tilt. Wow, that, that move is active. That move is so active. That move, that move is unbelievably active. And honestly, at ledge against Weefit at that percent, you know, you don't have a lot of invulnerability. You just have to guess, you know? You, you have to guess, you gotta mix up your timing the best you can, uh, and you play to God, you know? Yeah, Weefit F tilt starts on frame six and active for four frames. So covers that one frame of invincibility with Three, on the neutral getup. Two, and one, go! Like four times over. As we head right back to PS2 for Game 2, keep in mind this is a best of five set, so Zane has plenty of time to adapt or even change characters if they so choose. I, I don't know. They seem will. so comfortable with Duck right now. They just have to make slight little adjustments to the spacing just to be able to challenge We fit like that. I feel like John has been going through a lot of jumps from Ledger. would like to see some punishes from Zane sometime soon. You know, they would set up a can, they'd set up Gunman. Uh, but they'd sort of let John back on. Can't get the double uh, play pigeon confirmed quite yet. Uh, once again, like numbers, you know, probably holding down, not going high enough uh, to be able to hit by, to be able to be hit by it. John. John's maintaining his space, doing a lot with a little as per usual. And that's the F-Smash, but not gonna take it quite yet. Really, really good DI, but any more please send out been more than enough. Ooh, tries to go through the can spike, but not able to find it. Numbers though, scaled a little bit too deep. Wasn't able to recover in time, and now this is quite a lead for Zane. Yeah, forced to jump early and you know, had to air dodge to get around the can. All of the traps playing into Zane's favor with more damage on the way. Beautifully spaced can. Look at that, the way that they time the drops. And right now, Numbers is stalling a little bit off stage, just trying to wait out the hitbox of the can. He's so comfortable off stage, man, you know? It's, it's, it's good. I love it. It's my favorite to say in the game. And that's a triple play pigeon, not fully hitting into itself, but Numbers still finding a way to air dodge back into it. Oh my god, that is so much damage. Zane was able to unstale all of his other moves. Like, that's just big for them. Thank you so much to Miles for the 17 points in the I bet. Hope you're having a lovely day. Yeah. Shout outs to Miles and their and their own raid, their own stream. Phenomenal player in their own right. But we're seeing uh, two of New York's uh, classics slugging it out here. But John, John's gonna need to do something here. He's gonna have to push the initiative down a whole stock and now officially lapped in percent. Mm -hmm. He's, he's got to break his comfort zone and... Ooh, that was so Ryan. aggressive from Zane. Zane almost had the right idea, but, you know, they overshot and everything, but they needed to shoot even further. Weefit was just able to get away from those beautifully spaced headers. Uh, you know, Zane was anticipating it. That was a bit of an execution test for John, but you know what? He still got it. One good hit from either of these players is really going to be able to, like, define uh, the pacing of the next stock. Because, you know, both of them, both of them, like, they play it slow, you know? Oh! Oh, oh. We fit survived! Okay, 2% at a time! And just that little bit of healing he got out of every Sun Salutation, making <laughs> making these uh, survivability that much more effective. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Still 150%, just anything. Any hit. We just need, we just need anything. One good hit. Uh, because otherwise, Nabu's just gonna spend this whole entire game running away, healing, running away, healing. And so suddenly that lead isn't as big as it used to be. Thank you, Nitrofade, for the follows. We just witnessed one of the most soul crushing footstools I have ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh my god. And now, and now, finally, the can being able to kill 100 and whatever. 100 and whatever, please, that man. It's, it's at the point where everything should be killing. Gets the back there into the can once again. And just like that, with a couple of hits. One good lead, Zane was able to clean it all, was able to bring it all the way back. Um, I love the fact that now we see Zane putting can at ledge preemptively while Numbers is still on stage, so he can't really like sort of retreat to his comfort zone. Yeah, he's, Zane has uh, altered his game plan a little bit. Instead of trying to 
always optimize the damage that he gets off of every interaction, though he is prepared to do that. He's using his tools to maintain space, not just take it, but hold it. And if num as a we fit as a character doesn't need that much space to do anything, but it makes their aggression and makes their conversions a whole lot less like, fearsome because they don't have the space to do it. They have to just keep spending time getting back onto stage. <laughs> Definitely. And wow, that clay pigeon goes so far, but Numbers was still able to move his way around it. Um, right now, Zane just trying to find a way to interact, trying to find a way to initiate, rather. Uh, really, really starting to fish a little bit too much for these clay pigeons. Numbers doing a fantastic job of just avoiding it. Jumping over the cam, making sure to spend plenty of time in the air. The gunman, but he jumps around it. That government was chasing him, man. That government was following him, just baiting him and taunting him. For a while, Zayn is making really, really good use of the gunman on stage, just sort of protecting themselves from headed, protecting themselves from sun salutations here. Uh, it's like a, it's like this big shield, you know. It's 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 paying. It's huge, you know. Yeah, blocking just about everything, protecting their dog from danger. That, that was super so good. Clutch. And another one. And they were able to get it. Absolutely, that was a really, really good trade for Zayn. Wow, that, that can. That can, man. That can came in so clutch. That's that was excellent. Save. Frame one. Mm hmm. Just take a look at what happened here, right? So, uh, Zane, at this point, is gonna throw out a can, just jumps back in and shields because that's the bait. You know, if, if there's a can active uh, and somebody is shielding, you know, it's 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 kind of like the same thing. You can't ice you always have to be mindful. Like you know, and, that, and that's John. it. John did mash out a move here, just mashed out the wrong yep. one. He was looking for the kill, but Zane, aware of his percentage, gets the up, gets the can out, and that's yep. what takes the stock. And they, and they were able to find it. Yeah, no, that move, that move is ridiculously fast. That move has no right to be as fast as it is. You know, Duck Hunt has two frame one buttons. Now I see the cheeky little smile he's got in the corner here. <laughs> Look at this. Shit eating grin that Duck Hunt's got yeah. on his face. It's not even a cheeky little grin, like he's smiling with his whole teeth. Oh, you know, yeah. he's he's showing us everything. Uh but yeah. Like, it's kind of ridiculous to me that Duck Hunt has like two frame one options. Now I don't know if the hitbox is active on frame one. I'm pretty sure it's not, but it's like, you know, the projectile is out and then maybe after a while it comes back in. Uh it was so, so huge for Zane. Yeah. You, you, you know, if, if Duck Hunt is, is shielding and, and has the can out, it's kind of like the same thing if Snake is shielding and has his grenade out. You know, you, you gotta be really, really mindful of those things. It's usually a bait for a grab. It's just like basically a big sign uh, that says, hey, wait for the situation to improve. You don't really want to press forward and uh, hold your buttons here. Yeah, and like it goes back to the saying, like Duck Hunt is always in constant control of the can, whether he's in hit stun or not. A very limited used uh, mechanic, like only really Shulk and his Monado changing and hit stun, or art, Monado and art changing and hit stun, really has that ability. But Duck Hunt showing that he can manually operate his can no matter where he is, and Zane, they make the most out of everything. <laughs> Absolutely, and just like that, for game number two, they are going to be running it back to PS2, and honestly, I don't mind it, you know, both of them, both of them are comfy here, you know, they, they like it, they're comfortable, they're able to move around, they're able to move around ledge, uh, just the way that they like it, and that is the clay pigeon, but Zane tries to go for an up smash, interesting, not really sure what they were looking for with that one, uh, but either way, able to get the FDO, not able to get into the camp quite yet, FDO not sending far enough, Tries to go through the platform extensions, unfortunately up here, not having enough game advantage on hit. Pulling up the cannon in his face with that uh, soccer ball. Everything starts with ledge for Wii Fit. She gets so much down air. Oh my god. It's Z damage, so clean but not with pressure. Z Zane is so clean with these hits, and it's so unfortunate that Duck Hunt's doubter is as weak as it is. You know, it, it really won't kill until it's so late. Oh my god. Wow, you saw how deep John went. John, John went all the way down. Just follow, just follow Zane. It's that backer out of shield, like we fit. Great out of shield options when it comes to a great out of shield option when it comes to behind her. Hits rather low, comes out super fast. Frame four, I believe. But in front, that's where Duck Hunt. Uh, that's where, excuse me, uh, we fit really struggles with playing out of shield. So not not enough awareness coming out on Zane's part, trying to go for the crossover. 
getting killed. Oh, for. and that's a down throw. Catches the DIN, but no. Uphill, regardless, but the can still is able to stage spike. This is now Zane right. starting to slowly bring it back, not taking too much damage. All they need to do now is just cut the bleeding, try to get some damage for themselves. But they have to be careful about the way that they're committing to can uh, all the way like that. I feel like Numbly is, is just sort of priming themselves and reacting and just sort of catching Zane on all of that end lag. Going for the up to there. Nope. Ran out of deep breathing though, so his offense is gonna have to subside just a little bit. Not killing with that back air. Great tech. Wow, that, was, that, was a, that was a clean stock. I mean, John has all the lead right now, and honestly, the last thing you ever want to have is, is John numbers with a lead, you know? <gasps> oh. oh my god. All right, JB three stock. He didn't take a hit as soon as he lost his uh, his first one. Holy moly! The power of deep breathing. You know to say that? How did how did this last stock even get fire? Gets hit with a downer F tilt and then another downer. And Zane had the uh, the upper out, if I'm not mistaken. So they had the right idea, but unfortunately. Didn't time the uphill in such a way that it would connect. It just in between the hits. In between the hits, we fit just stuck. Look at look at that stretch on the doubter as well. I've never seen that animation from We Fit before either. Like she's all the way elongated, like she looks Three, behind her. Two, Damn. That move that move is silly. Like, she's a yoga instru instructor. She's gotta make sure she's incredibly flexible for all of her students, I guess, and I guess she takes dogs for <laughs> for all of their instructing. Man, that's such a oh, that's such a hammer to put into game three. Not only with counter pick advantage, but just going into this game four where both one and two were super tight. As thanks, John Numbers, for the subscription mid set. <laughs> Uh, not really sure that Devin was able to kill that one up in advance, but either way, uh, that can just following John so deep, but we're not actually going to be seeing any hits on it just to pop it up. Um, this is super, super even game already. Right now, both of them are just fighting desperately for the stage. That gunman, once again, coming in so clutch. Uh, Zane not really using it for um, any sort of aggressive purposes. Uh, they're using it in order just to pull up a little shield. And honestly, that's what you have to do. You have to make sure you're covered. You have to make sure that header is not an issue because that's what Numbers does. He always covers himself when he's getting back onto the stage. Make sure he forces you into shield so that you can't go off and edge guard him so that you can't set up your ledge trap, whatever it may be. Right, managing to get deep breathing quickly, uh, quickly due to the amount of time it took from his last one. Like, I can't really understate how important the little bit of healing John gets every time he uses a full a fully charged sun salutation is. Like it's it's not a lot, but it's enough to make it so that Duffin just has that much harder time or Zane rather, they have that much harder of a time get finding those kills. No, good DI coming again and the F tilt will come through. Uh, Powerful scramble situation into uh -huh. a stock for Reefit. Number That was a good wait for numbers. You know, they're just waiting for the correct option in that moment. It's possible that everything that Zane could have done would have been reactable either way. But once again, Zane trying to set up these can edge guards. And I feel like... I have to say, John is like really, really talented and just so comfortable with their movement. Uh, so that they're able to avoid the can every single time. So Zane chased John. Saw that John burned his air dodge. Wasn't able to find the kill though. Uh, just slightly misspaced themselves. Let him play on this ledge, trying to. Like, you think you're ledge trapping John, but no, John is stage trapping you. Like, it's. <laughs> it just keeps on coming, being able to utilize the neutral getup and immediately fall right back off. Big stage trap. That just, that just doesn't feel good. But there you go. That is the camp positioning that Zane was finally looking for. It's always like a little bit difficult because of the diagonal arc that does come from the can. Uh, it doesn't necessarily... Like, if somebody tries to go under the PS2, you know, it really won't hit them. So either you have to have the can hit the other way or you have to get it on just the edge of the stage. And that's exactly what Zane did there. They were able to catch John before he was able to go under the stage. And right now, Zane trying to go for another setup here with these clay pigeons. As soon as they connect it, uh, could be big damage. 
big damage is what he needs. Halfway to that, uh, to evening up the scoreboard here. And three minutes remaining, each one of these has gotten closer and closer to time. I have to keep that in mind for later. Mm -hmm. In case Zane is able to get a lead here, of course. Uh, once again, going through those F-Smash Ledge Traps, that move is so strong, it's able to kill so early, but that dash attack, despite it being from across the stage, still killed it. Wow. Still killed deep the dog. Breathing. Deep breathing is a hell of a drug. Deep, deep breathing is no joke, man. Like, that move, that move, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> you know, just, wow. Zane tries to throw out, like, a play pigeon uh, in the middle of all that, still not able to find it. Um, this is, this is tough. You know, it would seem like Zane struggled to even get hidden at this point. Full up tilt, I must say. Uh, That's okay. <gasps> oh, the boss saved him. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's damage is damage, and you're freely taking all of this percent. Not even, not even, not trying to worry about your status as being absolutely in the lead of this game. Though, the game could have ended by now. The game multiple times. Both of the up smashes. I, uh, I mean, Eldodge can still get it, but yeah, yeah that's definitely untackable. You know, at that blue scent, it's we fit with deep breathing on deck. Uh, yeah, not, not a whole lot that Zane could have actually done in that scenario. Uh, Zane, Zane was super dead. So what, what happened? What, what even what even went down? They both went for up smash. It clanked. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah I, guess, the, I guess that's just the stock. It looked like the frame advantage here was a neutral. But while Sh Shield is also frame one, so Can ended up just blow ended up blowing up in Zane's face, leading into that final situation with deep breathing, free deep breathing, sweet spot back air. Yeah, 130 he was at I think. Like just that's that's super untouchable. Yeah, not, not a whole lot that Zane could have done. And honestly, that was just like a series of unfortunate like situations uh, for them. You know, they had the right idea with the up smash, you know, trying to catch, like, whatever out of shield option John might have had, and then, like, instinctively, like, mashing out can. It's a frame one button, you know? Sometimes you gotta mash those uh, to try to trade, maybe reset the situation. But either way, uh, this is probably not the last that we've seen of Zane Fu tonight. Uh, this is, of course, still only losing semis, so, you know, we could be seeing them really, really shortly uh, in some upcoming sets.